Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sign up or create an Calendly account. So Calendly just basically makes it super easy to actually schedule appointments with yourself. And so with that, you simply just wanna to go to Calendly.com and then click on the Get Started button on the upper right hand corner, or you can click on Sign Up with Google or Sign Up with Microsoft. So for my case, I'm just gonna click on Sign Up with Google just because it makes it a lot easier. So here's where you would enter in your Google email. So we're just gonna enter one of our emails that we have. And so what you're doing here is basically you're signing into your Google account. So just enter your password from here. So now once you're logged onto your Google account, you're just going to go ahead and give Calendly access to all these automatic checkboxes that it does. So from here, click on continue. And then from here, you're basically just answering a few prompts from Calendly. So how do you plan on using Calendly? You'll just use it on my own. Then click on next. What is your role? So simply just select the role that best aligns with you or your business. So I'm just going to cl click on education, then click on next. next. You need to set up a calendar that will be used to check for existing events. So the reason for doing this is that maybe you use Google Calendar. And because you're already scheduling things on Google Calendar, Calendly is going to make it so that you don't overlap events and accidentally schedule two things at the same hour. So same thing, you, I'm just going to click on connect Google Calendar. So simply just follow the prompts. And as you can see, my Google Calendar is now connected with Calendly. And like I mentioned before, it's going to use my Google Calendar to make sure that there's no conflicts when it comes to preventing double bookings, meaning two things booked within the same hour. So just simply click on next once everything looks good next it's going to ask you when are you available to meet with people so you can do weekly hours monday through a certain time um, maybe you don't want to be available on thursday so you can toggle these on and off and you can also set the hours and change them accordingly you also want to make sure that your time zone is in the correct time zone so for here i'm just going to set eastern standard time and then click on next now you need to choose a way to actually meet people so this is like the meeting location in which if i schedule an appointment with you are we going to meet on zoom are we going to meet on microsoft teams are we going to meet on google meet so we're going to go ahead and use google meet and then click on continue and so there you have it so far so what we've done so far is that we've created a calendar account we've set up our available times we've connected our our Google Meet and we've connected our Google Calendar. The next thing is to actually go ahead and create an event type. So this is one of your event types here. So you would just click on this event type and then from here you can enter the event details such as the event name. You could also click on who hosts these events if you have like a team. You could enter how far in advance individuals can book events with you. So maybe you only want to do it in a two week advance time frame. So you can see now that they can only book two weeks in advance. And then also you can actually go ahead and send notifications on workflow. So here you can see that basic notifications include calendar or calendar invitation, email reminders, text reminders, and email follow-ups, and then click on save and close. So that is essentially how to sign up and create an account on Calendly. If you guys know of a better or easier way to actually do this, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. But thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you guys on the next video.